Hi, welcome to the Eastern Township School Board series of videos. In this module, we're going to see how to organize your environment, and we're also going to look at the settings in Gmail. So let's go to Google Chrome and inside of Gmail. Now, the first time you launch Gmail, it might not look exactly like this. The way to change the appearance here is to go right over here to these little toggle, click the down arrow, and select no split if you want. I believe this is the default view. When you click on an email, it shows you the email. You can go back to your emails. I personally prefer the split. Now there's the horizontal split, which will display the email at the bottom, or my favorite is the vertical split, which when you click on an email, you can see it on this side here. So that lets you arrange this very quickly. The second thing we can do is our settings. Now, there are two types of settings. If you click on the little gear icon, you get your quick settings, which gives you very quick things that you can do. And then you can see all the settings, which we'll see in a few minutes. So for now, let's look at these quick settings. Now, the density, the default here is that things are a bit further apart. You get more space, but less email at the same time. Comfortable has a slight change to it, and then compact makes them a bit closer together, which is the one I prefer, but you can pick the one you're comfortable with. You can change your theme here by changing the background of your whole uh, Gmail. You can also put it back to the default here. And if you click View All, you're going to see a lot more different themes in here. You can even download some from the internet. So I'm just going to cancel this, go back to my quick settings. Now here you have the inbox type. Right now we are set to default, but you can look at important emails first, unread first, so on and so forth. I'm just going to leave it to the default. Your reading pane here is the same thing we did when we went up here and selected if we wanted a split or no split or below or to the right of the inbox. So that's exactly the same as we did before. Finally, there's the email threading, the conversation view, which I'm not a fan of, so I turn it off. What the conversation view is, is if you have an exchange of email with a person and you keep replying and they reply and they reply, it just keeps that into one email. Personally, I prefer to see multiple emails show up so I can see when I replied, when they first sent it and so on and so forth. If you have it on, it'll basically be in one email. So it's a question of preferences. Now, speaking of preferences, let's go to see all of the settings. And when I click here, this will give me a lot of different settings. It takes over the whole screen and I've got general labels, inbox, accounts, filters, forwarding, and so on and so forth. Now we're going to look at general very quickly things that might be of interest in here. First thing is the maximum page size. This is the amount of emails you can see per page. I leave it at 100 because I like to see a lot of different emails at the same time. Just to show you what I mean, if I say, say 10, and I go all the way to the bottom and I save my changes, this will bring me back to my emails and I can only see 10 emails. Now, this is something that I get asked a lot. Where are my other emails? Are they not there? It's not obvious as if you were in the Hotmail or Outlook. This is a little bit more subtle. To find your next email, you have to go up here. You can see how this is email one of 10 out of 1300 email. So if you click on that, arrow now you'll see email 11 to 20 and so on and so forth and then you can go back to your start so i personally like to see a lot of different emails so i'm going to go back to the gear see all the settings and i'm going to choose that to show 100 email um there's quite a few things in here most of them are self-evident so the reply behavior is to reply or reply all. Personally, I like to reply all when I get an email that was sent to a lot of people, but you can send, you can change that. You can also change it when you're sending your email. You can decide if you want to reply to one person or all of them. Then you have here the default text. Right now I've made this so that it looks really disgusting. And what this will do is this is the, the way the text will look like when you write an email. This is not very professional. So make sure you do have something professional. You can pick something a bit more interesting. Now, if you click here, you can change the size of the text, you can change the color of the text, and this will reset it. So this will remove the formatting and leave it sans serif. 
normal size black text now images by default in here are always displayed if you're if you're not sure or if you have a slow connection or if you're not sure about where they come from you can ask before displaying internal external images I personally like to have it on dynamic email basically will display the email content when available so that this is something that you should leave on next is grammar spelling and autocorrect those are on by default grammar will basically make suggestion spelling as well and autocorrect will correct your text as you type there's also the smart compose which some people like and some people don't you've got smart compose personalization and basically what happens is when you start writing an email it will actually continue it and write what it says for example if somebody called Bob sent you an email and you say hi it'll say hi Bob automatically just press the tab key to accept that uh, conversation view we've talked about the smart reply basically shows the suggested replies when available which is pretty good and then you've got the preview pane nothing interesting in here pretty simple and self-explanatory um, signatures is something we'll look at in a different module so is the vacation responder so that's pretty much it for the general settings now one more thing I'm going to show you is remember earlier when we went in here and changed the themes you can also get them from here if you click on the themes you can set them and you'll get the very same window we had earlier so I'm just gonna click cancel here and go back to my Gmail by clicking here now if I do that it's gonna tell me that you haven't changed you want to discard no so it's very important when you're done let's go back to general scroll all the way down it's very important to save your changes so I'm just gonna click on save changes and it will take me right back to the inbox so that's a very quick tour of the settings and also personalization